channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka the crafter and today guys is going to be a little different project we're going to do some wall sconces using all dollar tree products okay so for this project you would need six photo frames five by seven you would need two of the metal napkin holders six of and three of the placemats like this with the little um, design in it that's kind of see-through a little bit. You will need three of those. And we are going to get started, okay? Make sure you hit subscribe, like to the channel. I will greatly appreciate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove all of the contents from the frame. Make sure you hit subscribe, guys. All of the contents from the frame the backing, the glass, and the paper. Set the glass to the side because you're gonna need that. But the backing and the paper, you can throw that away, okay? Sorry about that, sorry about that, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing for this one and I've did it to all of the other ones as well. Once you get the backing and all, every, all of the contents out, you're gonna take the frame outside and we're gonna give it a nice coat of black spray paint. I'm making these for my son and his fiance, and so they wanted something to decorate their room and give it a little lighting, little ambiance. So I told them I would love to create these for them. And so here we are. So I have six of these in total. And what we're gonna do is go outside make sure that you are in a well ventilated area and we're going to give these a nice good uh, coat of black spray paint with the gloss okay so sit tight okay while we are letting <clears throat> the spray paint dry on those also guys you're going to need two canvas boards <clears throat> You're gonna need two canvas boards. I'm assuming in in the um, and this is an eight by ten canvas. They do have them smaller, so I have to see what size I'm gonna actual need once I put it together. But I'm gonna start with the eight by eight by tens. You might can do a five by seven, but we have to see once we um. Put it together and see how wide it is but you're going to need two canvas boards so i'll make sure i leave that in the link below and so you're going to take the placemat and place it down you i'm how i'm going to measure it is i'm going to set the glass right on it set the glass right on it And you might can only need two, um, just depending on how big your frames are. And I'm going to take my permanent marker and just mark one out. Once you get one cut out, you can use that as your template to cut the other three. You're going to need three of these in total. Okay? Three of these in total. we got cut out so we are here we got three panels cut and we're gonna cut out three more okay and so what I'm gonna do once I cut out those three is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna glue them on to my glass okay with some heat 
with my heat gun and some fix all. So while that's warming up, because it's gonna go with the pattern on the outside, okay? So we're gonna heat gun it and fix all so that it'll have a more permanent hold to it. So I'm gonna take my little bit of my fix all with my heat gun and I'm just gonna apply it along the edges real thinly and this is just to give it a more permanent stay more permanent hold the heat gun is giving you a temporary hold time to heat up my videos are getting cut short hold hold tight okay so we got a little bit of the heat gun ready to go we're gonna put a little bit here and there gonna put a little bit here and there I'm gonna have to delete some of my videos because it is not wanting to record a long time I'm going to line my edges up, place it on there, give it a little push down, and let that dry. We'll do that for all six panels, and then that'll be one panel. So you can kind of see through it, so you'll be able to see the light shining through the, um, the panel. Okay, we're going to repeat that for all six, and then we'll come back and show you what we have. I have to make sure I don't know why it ended my video but I have to make sure that it fits fits my wide frame here so what I'm gonna do is lay my napkin holder in here to make sure that it fits in both directions so that fits nicely that's gonna fit quite nice. <clears throat> okay. So, let's go ahead and assemble one side, like so. And so what I'm going to use here, I'm going to apply a fix all to the edge of this frame. And then I'm going to also apply my hot glue to hold it in place while the fix all dries. So I'm going to put some fix all along here, trying to keep it neat just along the edge that's going to touch. We got our fix all there. And then I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm going to dab it in spots. And I'm gonna line it up nice and straight and press it on here. Like so. And while that's a hearing that way, I'm going to come back with my hot glue and secure right along the seam where they meet on the inside. And that's just going to help it stay in place while it dries so you might have to hold it for a minute until it gets dry and gets its footing and then you'll have one corner of the light
okay we got one of them standing and so while that one is kind of secured we're going to come back and we're going to do the other one the other side now what i might do is take a popsicle stick and cross it across the top to give it that added support and we're gonna do this side the exact same. Take some fix all glue, fix all, and go right along that edge. Because that's the only where it's gonna touch the other frame. So you don't have to put it in a different area. I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. And I'm going to come back, even it up, and place it on here. Do the same, come back with my hot glue gun and go along the seam where they both meet on the inside. Giving it a little extra added support. I'm just kind of letting that sit here. And you'll know when you're able to let it go. Because it will stand pretty much on its own. Uh -oh. So this one might take a little bit more time. And what I'm going to do is take it and flip it this way. Giving it that support from the bottom. And kind of letting that gel together. Now I'm going to work on the um, basing of the um, of our canvas. So sit tight. Okay, so after measuring, I realized that I'm going to use the 8 by 10 cabins canvas board that we got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go take this out, take it outside and spray paint it black. I'm going to adhere the, um, the um, napkin rings to it and we'll go ahead and finish up our light. So we're going to use the 8 by 10 which is these. We lift it up just a little bit. So we got the 8 by 10 um, board from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to spray paint these black. I have two of these so we're going to spray paint these and then we'll come back and assemble. So sit tight. Okay guys, so now we are back with um, finishing up our light modes. Remember to hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so that you can get uploads uh, and get updated when we upload new video content. And we're going to go ahead and finish this project on out, okay? So now I have all three panels glued together and then I took the... I took the napkin holder and glued it to the inside of the um, the frame here, all three frames. So I took the napkin holder, glued it inside. I'm gonna go ahead and secure that with some fix all too while we're um, gonna get ready to install our lights and then glue it on to the backing of our 
um, the canvas, which we painted black, glue that on and go ahead and set that to the side and get it ready uh, to be displayed, okay? So the lights that we're gonna use, um, these come from um, Five Below. You can get two in a pack for $5. It has a little remote here. I've already did one, so all I need out of this pack is the light because we already have a remote, so we're hoping that it works for this set as well. So that way it'll turn all four uh, both sconces on at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to open this up, get the lights out, hopefully. And again, you can find these at any of the five below over there in the tech section um, where they have all of the little lighting and you get two lights and a remote. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries and these um, have a simple twist off and there's the battery cavity. And so we already have some batteries ready to go. Got these from the Dollar Tree. This is an awesome find. You get six packs of AAA Kodak batteries in a pack uh, for a dollar. Normally they be two in a pack of the alkaline kind, but these you get six in a pack. And that is awesome because that's what we need. Um, for a dollar, so that is an awesome find. Was able to save a couple of dollars today, so anytime we can save some money, we we like to save. These have the 3M sticker already on the back, so you don't need much glue to stick them on here because I like to make them where they're easy to remove to fill the batteries. Um, once the batteries go dead, you can change out the batteries. I try to position them in a way where you can just change the batteries and it won't be too hard. And I just want to make sure that this one works. Yep, it works for that. So, and so what I'm going to do is peel off the back and place them inside on top of the napkin ring, the napkin holder that we didn't glued inside. And when I place it in here, I'm gonna place it on top. It will be nice to that they both can fit in here, but it'd be difficult to change the batteries out. So what I'm gonna do is place it to where the, the sticker sticks right there. Don't press too hard because I don't want to um, tear away. And then I'm gonna turn it upside down, take my hot glue gun and just kind of secure it with a little hot glue. Um, just put a little hot glue in a couple of little spots. Um, just give it a little dab of hot glue over. I kind of like do a little um, bead where it, it falls over the plastic, over the... the um, I'll kind of bring it closer so that you can see. It kind of put it over the uh, the metal part and the plastic at the same time. I'm just going to pull that, that burn, that burn, that burn, that burn, that burn. Because um, I don't want it to lock the sides of the twist out. You want it to be able to twist out. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other light. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it to the back. Let it sit up and I'll come back and kind of show you. I can't command strip them to the wall because they're going to somebody else's house and so I don't want to mess up my command strips trying to command strip them 
just to show you what they look like, but I promise you they, they're cute. And I'm just going to try to get some glue up in here, some hot glue. And it's like I said, this is just to give it a little extra security. Um, the 3M will hold it for the most part, but especially like this one that faces the bottom, you want to kind of give it a little extra uh, security and support so that it don't fall. I'm just tilting it that way so that the glue don't run over on the side. I don't want to wipe it I just burnt my finger and so next we have our little canvas board that we spray painted black and we're going to get ready to adhere this on to the board and so what I'm going to do is take some fix all because that's pretty much all I really want to use for this part because I wanted to have a secure hole and I'm going to take this fix all across the back of the napkin ring here I'm going to take some across the sides of the frame so I'm going to take it right along the edges that's going to touch that board because I want this to be a nice secure hold the hot glue burnt my finger it's still burning it hurt it it hurt I should say but that's okay that comes with with crafting sometimes when you're moving too fast but make sure you guys hit subscribe hit like I hope you enjoy this project and so now with all of that I'm gonna go ahead line it up nice and even onto my board both sides top and bottom and just place it on there and let that sit and dry and that is pretty much it our lights are work is working so we got that going i might add a couple of more little designs to it but come back and i'll show you the finished project